We are following breaking news involving the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Yeah, a spokesperson for the couple says Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle were involved in a car chase with paparazzi in New York City last night. The statement says the, quote, relentless pursuit lasted over two hours and resulted in multiple near collisions. For more on this, we're joined by NBC News correspondent Vaughn Hilliard. So, Vaughn, obviously this is disturbing also because it, it brings up memories of Princess mm -hmm. Diana, yeah. uh, Prince Harry's mom. So can you tell us just more about the incident? What do we know? Right. Hey, guys, this incident uh, apparently took place over the course of two hours, according to the spokesman for the, the, Sus for the Sussex, the Duke and the Duchess. This was a, uh, an incident which we're still, frankly, trying to get details exactly about what happened, because much of this is coming directly from them. To our understanding, they left the theater uh, in midtown Manhattan at about 10 p.m. last night, and then in an effort to get to the residence, of a friend where they were staying, they were trying to avoid the uh, paparazzi. And that is where law enforcement sources are now telling NBC News, multiple law enforcement sources, that uh, perhaps a chase would not be the best way to describe it, as the spokesman did, but more of uh, uh, an incident in which the paparazzi were following Meghan and Harry. Uh, they did not, to our understanding, want to reveal the location of where they were staying, and that is what led to two Two hours of them going through the Manhattan streets trying to avoid the paparazzi. At one point, we, to our understanding, they did switch vehicles, and uh, it was chaos that was ensuing around their effort to get to the location where they were staying in Manhattan last night. Vaughn, are you getting any indication that we might see some video from this? I mean, nothing really happens in New York City without being captured on camera in some way or another. And could there potentially be any consequences if paparazzi were indeed following them? Right. I think that's a lot of the question marks that we're all kind of processing right now. I mean, even at 10 o'clock in Manhattan, it's still highly trafficked. You are mm -hmm. going to run into traffic. You know, the likelihood is that they, that's exactly what happened. They had private security with them. I want to let you listen to a little bit of what Mayor Eric Adams said here in New York. I think all of us, I don't think there's many of us who don't recall how, uh, how the, uh, his mom uh, died, and it would be horrific to lose an innocent bystander during a chase like this and something to have happened uh, to them as well. So I think we have to be extremely responsible. Uh, I thought that was a bit reckless and irresponsible. Of course, Harry was, as you heard the mayor reference, 12 years old when Princess Diana, his mother, passed away, uh, uh, trying to run from the paparazzi. So, of course, this is of a, a high concern here mm -hmm. and one that we and I'm sure law enforcement and the mayor's office are trying to get a better understanding of exactly how all this unfolded. Guys. All right. NBC News correspondent Vaughn Hilliard. Vaughn, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.